Good evening, this is Mr. William, West Virginia. It is the ninth day of November. Happens to be my son Michael's birthday. And uh, we've had a kind of a blah day because we've got several people, uh, well, one person that died last week, another person that's kind of in between right now. Been kind of a tough couple of days. Um, all my children are in except for one. Um, and um, I just, I wanted to talk to you all about heaven. Because I got to thinking about that today. I got to thinking about the fact that I had read an old post that I had posted maybe two or three years ago about the fact that, um, you know, when you think about it, there, everything that's here on earth, not in heaven. Um, you know, there's no drug addiction in heaven. There, there'll be no death in heaven. Be no more crying, no more tears. There'll be no disease in heaven. No cancer. No bullying in heaven. Uh, there'll be no hatred in heaven. There'll be no killing, molesting, slavery, sexual deviance. All that is here on earth, but not in heaven. And the really cool thing about heaven, everything that's dark here, There'll be nothing but light in heaven. There'll be nothing but good. No evil in heaven. But the most important thing is that God will be in heaven. Jesus will be in heaven. And I suppose the Holy Spirit will be there. We will probably get to see the Trinity together when we all get there one day. But what I wanted to talk to you all about is you know, if somebody was to tell you that uh, your college was paid for and all you had to do was maybe fill out some paperwork, you'd do that. Most people get very excited when they're accepted to a university or a college, especially if it's prestigious, you know, prestigious. Um, you know, we'll do whatever we can to get a job. I had a brother today that wanted us to pray, or yesterday wanted us to pray because he had a job interview. We'll do whatever we can to get a great job, you know. If somebody uh, was to offer us a lot of money, there's a lot of things that people would do to get a lot of money. Um, you know, if someone was going to give you a car, give you a house, give you anything that's really expensive, you know. For some people, maybe a, a membership at a country club. Huh, you'd do just about anything for that, some of you. But when you're given the choice of getting to heaven, and when the simplicity of it is that all you have to do is believe that Jesus was the Son of God. That's all you got to do. Accept Him as the Son of God. Believe on Him. There's other things you have to do too, but to get into heaven, you just have to confess. You just have to believe and confess that Jesus is Lord. And begin to follow as best as you can. He's not even asking for perfection when it comes to following Him. Just do the best you can. The end result is being in heaven, a place where there'll be no more tears, no more sickness, no more disease, no more regret, no more guilt, no more heaviness. Be walking on streets of gold. There's all kinds of great things. There'll be mansions in heaven. It's just too good to believe and too good to miss, especially when it's as simple as God's made it. I'm praying that you all get this message, understand this message, and do something to make sure that you get there. Because if you make a decision today, your life will begin to change. You will begin to transform. And there will be things that will begin to happen to your heart, to your head, to your life, that could change the course of history for more than just you. I didn't accept Christ to get into heaven, but I found out later on that that was one of the benefits. The other benefit is if you make it to heaven, you're missing hell. And there is hell. And there will be eternity to spend in either one. And the decision is not God's. It's yours. So, what are you going to do? Mr. William, West Virginia, get ready to go up to the Robinson Grand and see some percussion. I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. Shalom.